It's Doug Linner with another Patch of the Week. This week we're going to look at accomplishing wave folding using a triple wave shaper. But first I'm going to show you how a single wave shaper works and then afterwards I'm going to show you some things that you can use to extend the wave folding into new territory. So in the early Serge literature the wave shaper was described as something that would take a sawtooth output and turn it into a sine wave. So here is a sawtooth output from this oscillator. I'm going to take it up here and put it into this single wave shaper. And there's the output. So it's doing pretty much what it said. But I find that it goes a lot further than that. And I'd like to show you some things that you can do. Now first I want to take and uh, show you that we have two VC inputs here. They each act a little differently on the module, so play around with them. Here I'm going to put in an envelope shape. You can hear a little bit of a filtering kind of effect. Here I'm going to put in the inverse of that same voltage. And so now we're getting more of an undulating filter effect. It's also important to point out that the wave, uh, the voltage control inputs don't have to be only in the sub audio range, they can also be in the audio range. So you have modulation, audio modulation opportunities here as well. Now, what I want to do is change the input here to a different output from this oscillator. This output has a wave shaper built into it. I have the wave shaper set to a sine wave, so this is different right off the bat. We're going to use a sine wave as an input to the triple wave shaper. Now the pod here gives you some opportunities to dial in some nice tonal possibilities, some timbral possibilities. But the greatest timbral possibilities out of this module is by running each one of these triple wave shapers in a series. You would patch out from the first one to the input of the next one and out from that to the input of the top one. And then you would take your output from the top. I have a switch here that's hardwired all of that. And what I'm going to do is flip that and I'm going to take the output from the top and bring that in. I'm going to take out the original. And so now we have this oscillator, a sine wave, being wave folded. Each one of the potentiometers here can change the timbral profile. And each one of these can still be VCO'd, except now that we're in this wave folded uh, configuration, all of these effects are much broader and much more interesting. And of course, another thing that can happen again is that we can be using audio signals. And if you, different places that you use it, we'll get different effects. Okay, I'm going to get rid of all of these VC inputs right now. And I want to show you another couple of ways that you can play with this to get some other effects from it. The first thing I want to do is to control the wave shape here. And it will go between a sine wave and a sawtooth wave. So remember, this is controlling the wave shape of the oscillator that's going into and being wave folded by the wave shapers. All right, now that's a really big sound. And the only thing that's changed is that we're changing the wave shape of the oscillator input. 
Let's try another thing. This is one of my favorite tricks. What we're going to do is we're going to take the output of the oscillator and we're going to put it through a VCA before we take it into the triple wave shaper. So now we're starting to get a really tight sound. And, you know, the interesting thing about this is, is that it breaks the whole idea of the traditional keyboard synthesizer signal path. And that's really a good thing to do on the modular because, really, you know, do something different. So what's happening here is that we're not using a filter for the timbral differences. And we're not putting it before a VCA. We're doing pretty much the opposite. We're affecting the wave shape directly through wave shapers and wave folding. And we're taking the input audio signal through the VCA before that. And that's giving us a lot more opportunities. Now remember, we can still be voltage controlling this. And remember, it doesn't all have to be audio. Uh, in the sub-audio range, it can be audio. And all of these pots can be changed, affecting the total output. Okay, there you have it. Wave folding with a triple wave shaper, as well as the simple operation of a wave shaper, and some tips and tricks that you can do to take it even further. Patch of the week.